on today's Disney Roundup, everything coming to the Disney parks in 2023. Rock and Roller Coaster is closing for an extensive refurbishment and a look at this year's D23 Gold Member Collector Set. I have all that and more for you coming up right here on the DRU. To infinity and beyond! Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date with all the latest Disney and Disney Parks news each and every single week. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. And with it being the first Disney Roundup of 2023, I thought we'd first start off with everything that's coming to the Disney Parks this year. Going into the new year, a lot of what has been announced will be coming soon or in the early part of 2023. Starting off with this month, the Disney 100 festivities will begin out at Disneyland Resorts with two new nighttime shows premiering on January 27th. Those of course being Wondrous Journeys at Disneyland Park and World of Color 1 at DCA. Also on the 27th, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will be opening at the El Capitoon Theater in Mickey's Toontown. The rest of Mickey's Toontown will reopen as a whole on March 8th following its reimagining. And the Magic Happens Parade will be returning for the first time since it debuted in early 2020 on February 24th. Over at Walt Disney World in the spring, Tron is currently scheduled to open in Tomorrowland at the Magic Kingdom, and at Hollywood Studios, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue will be opening in Toy Story Land. Also said to be coming to Walt Disney World this year, the Moana Journey of Water attraction will be opening at Epcot. Figment was also said to be back at Epcot once again this year to meet and greet with guests, and the Walt the Dreamer statue will be arriving at the new area at Epcot this year, that area being Dreamer's Point. As announced at the D23, 23 Expo, the Haunted Mansion in the Magic Kingdom will be adding the Hatbox Ghost, and also announced at the D23 Expo, Happily Ever After will be returning sometime this year, along with the debut of a new nighttime fireworks show said to be coming to Epcot later in the year. All of these currently have no set opening or return dates. Now with all of the additions and returns, a few things will be leaving this year, most notably at Walt Disney World the conclusion of the 50th anniversary and its festivities, including including Disney Enchantment and Harmonious. With the 50th ending at the end of March, Disney will also be removing 50th decor from the parks, including from Cinderella Castle, which assumingly will be painted back to its original colors starting sometime this year. And of course, Splash Mountain will be closing at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Splash will close at the Magic Kingdom this month on January 23rd. A closing date at Disneyland has not been announced at this time. So quite a few things to look forward to this year. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to is hearing more about the new fireworks show coming to Epcot, like if Disney continues to use the barges for it, and overall, if they're able to have it debut later this year, given the little information we've heard from it, and them announcing a debut date for a new show in around a year's time. Let me know in the comments down below, though, what you're looking forward to the most coming in 2023. Guests planning to go to Hollywood Studios sometime this year, be aware that Rock and Roller Coaster will be closed for several months. Now showing on the Walt Disney World website on the Rock and Roller Coaster page, it says the ride will be closed for several months beginning next month. It states beginning February 20th, Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith will be temporarily closed for refurbishment. This rocktastic attraction will resume its Super Stretch limo ride in summer of 2023. A summer reopen date could have the ride reopen in June or as late as September. As to why the attraction will be closed so long for refurbishment currently remains unknown. Prior to the new year, Disney fans got a sneak peek at the new nighttime show coming to DCA, World of Color 1. During Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest 2023 on ABC, the first preview was shown of World of Color 1, the new nighttime show coming to Disney's California Adventure Park for the Disney 100 Years of Wonder celebration. On the Disneyland website, it says that World of Color 1 will include moments from films including The Lion King, Soul, and Moana. The first look shared though also includes moments from Pocahontas, Encanto, Mulan, Star Wars, and more. World of Color 1 makes its debut at DCA in just a few weeks on on January 27th. It appears the process of reimagining Tarzan's treehouse to the Adventureland treehouse could be taking longer than expected as Disney has just removed its original opening date. 
Over this past week, Disney had posted the opening date and operating hours for the Adventureland Treehouse, which was said to be opening on February 11th. Now on the Disneyland website, hours and the original opening dates have been removed. As to why the opening day was removed is currently unknown, but it appears the reimagining could be taking longer than expected as to what was formerly Tarzan's Treehouse remains behind Scrim. With the Walt Disney Company celebrating 100 years this year, D23 Gold members will receive a special gift in this year's Gold Member Collector Set. 100 years in the making, D23 Gold members will receive the Mickey Mouse Leader of the Club Milestone Statue in their Gold Member Collector Set this year. The Mickey Mouse Leader of the Club Milestone Statue pays tribute to the Walt Disney Company's legacy of unmatched creativity and inspired the next century of storytellers. An oversized version of the Mickey statue was unveiled at the D23 Expo. The celebrations kick off and now D23 Gold members have the opportunity to bring home the 10-inch statue. In addition to receiving the statue, and a commemorative member certificates for the first time ever all new and renewing d23 gold members will have the opportunity to choose one of four membership card designs being disney pixar star wars and marvel the card and certificate will ship two to four weeks following enrollment or renewal and the statue will begin shipping by spring 2023 all right everyone that's all you for this week's episode of the disney roundup if you enjoyed it please make sure to hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to reach the Disney Roundup each and every single week. That's all you for this week, and until next time, we'll see you on the DRU.